Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of the QuickBooks webinar series. Today we're going to be talking about creating an ROE. We've created a general guide to help you generate an ROE in QuickBooks Online. So what is an ROE? Also known as a record of employment, it's a form that employers create for their employees receiving insurable earnings who have stopped working and experienced an interruption in their earnings. This is the single most important document required by those employees who may apply for EI. Did you know an ROE must be given to employees by their employer when they stop working or experience an interruption of earnings? Did you know that you need to remit all payroll withholding taxes for an employee including EI premiums, CPP contributions, and income tax deductions within seven days after the last day of employment for that employee and provide an ROE to each former employee within five calendar days? Did you know that you need to complete an ROE even if the employee does not intend to apply for EI benefits? To complete an ROE, you'll need details of the employee's work history within your organization, including insurable earnings and insurable hours. And thankfully, QuickBooks Online makes this easier for you. So let's get started. There are two steps to generating the information required for an ROE. First step is to change the employee's employment status in QuickBooks Online. The next step is to generate the ROE information. To change the employment status for the employee in QuickBooks Online, go to the Payroll menu and select Employees. Select the desired employee from the employee list. If you're unable to find a particular employee, use the drop-down menu here and select All Employees. Once you've selected the employee, click on the pencil icon beside Employment. And then under status, change the employee status from active to terminated, for example. Select a reason for status change and enter the appropriate termination date. And then select done in the bottom right. A pop-up will appear asking if you'd like to create an employee's record of employment. Select yes here. and you'll be brought directly to the Record of Employment page to view the ROE. Alternatively, you can go to Taxes once the employee status is changed and then down to Payroll Tax and under the Filing section you will see the Record of Employment. Here you can select the employee and then select ROE on the right hand side here. And then again, you can click view. This opens up a new tab displaying the record of employment. And the first thing you'll notice here is that there is a watermark on the ROE, which says not for submission. It's important to note here that the ROE printed from QuickBooks Online is not a legal form for the record of employment required by CRA. You'll need to request the ROE forms from the CRA for submission and then use the ROE from QuickBooks Online as a guide to assist you with filing out the legal ROE forms from CRA. On the QuickBooks version of the ROE, you will see values for total insurable hours, total insurable earnings, and insurable earnings broken down by pay period. For box 16 reason codes, some common codes around COVID are code A, which is shortage of work, or end of contract or end of season. If you've closed your business or adjusted your workforce as a precaution, you would use this code. Code D is for illness or injury, uh, which was related to actual illness or an employee who has tested positive uh, and an employee who has traveled and is now self-isolating. Again, you would use code D. Code N can be used for leave of absence when an employee is 
making a personal choice to distance themselves, um, they would take a leave of absence. And again, you could use code N for this. And just a reminder, when issuing an ROE, do not complete box 18, which is the comments section. Any comments will remove the ROE from the automation process and will slow down the claims process itself. Um, and then once you fill out the CRA ROE forms, there are three copies. One you will give to your employee, you'll mail another one back to CRA, and then keep one for your personal records. For more information or step-by-step -step instructions on creating an ROE in QuickBooks Online, visit quickbooks.intuit.ca, click on Learn and Support, and then search for Create an ROE. Click on the first link here, and you'll have step-by-step -step instructions on everything we've covered today. For COVID-specific updates, click on the link in this article, which links you to the Canadian Payroll Association. And lastly, for more information on submitting the ROE to CRA, please visit Canada.ca select your uh, language of choice and then search for understanding record of employment and there's an ROE guide for you here as well and that's what you need to know about creating an ROE in QuickBooks Online thank you and have a great day